Okay, Brandon, please describe how an ice rink works. Okay, so uh, about a week before ice in, we uh, start, you know, we turn the compressor system on. Um, that compressor system removes the heat, removes the heat from the concrete um, slowly. Um, over about a week span, we drop the temp from about 65 or 70 degrees down to about uh, 13 to 14 degrees. Um, before we turn compressors on, we have to make sure that concrete slab is very, very clean. Um, that it's it's really important for that first uh, for that first coat of ice to be able to bond to the concrete nicely. Um, so making sure the concrete slab is being very clean is really important. Um, so after that that week of dropping temperature, the concrete is now at 13 to 14 degrees, um, and we come out with a paint system and we do what is called uh, skim ice and we basically do an eighth to a quarter inch of just of, uh, of just water um, we put that water down in very very thin layers using a uh, agriculture spray system um, the thinner the layers of water uh, the quicker it freezes and the less oxygen that gets trapped into the ice um, so we walk back and forth for uh, 20 to 30 coats of water um, that water, again, just freezes instantly and creates that initial bond with the concrete. Um, after we get our skim ice finished, um, we also uh, we mix a white powder-based paint in with that clean water um, and we paint our ice white. Um, we do three to four coats of white paint, um, again, using that spray system. Um, spraying that water down in very, very fine mist. Uh, that white paint then freezes instantly to the concrete, or actually to the ice. So after we do four to, f four to five coats of white, we then use that spray system to seal the, seal the white paint. It prevents that white paint from bleeding um, and migrating underneath the ice throughout the season. Um, after that seal coat is done, we have a layer of ice over the white paint. We then have to go out and measure out and use templates to mark all of our hockey markings. Uh, use stencils to mark out all of the hockey markings um, and that prepares us to go ahead and paint those hockey markings. So after we use the template system to mark out all of those hockey markings, uh, we hand paint those. Um, so that takes us about four to five hours to paint a full sheet.
After those hockey markings are done, we then use backpack sprayers to seal in uh, those hockey markings. After we paint and seal all of the hockey markings, we then uh, bring a lift out um, and using a projector, we project all of the logos down onto the ice and we have volunteers throughout this whole process. Um, and the volunteers uh, go ahead and stencil those logos into the ice. Um, we had uh, 12 or 13 logos this season for 1718. Um, so after they're stenciled in, we take another day or two to completely pan paint all of those logos onto the ice. Um, if we have to mix paint to, to get specific colors for those logos, we go ahead and do that using the primary colors. Um, and we paint every single logo by hand. After that's done, we then, similar to the hockey markings, we have to seal in those logos with water um, so that when we, again, start building layers of ice, we don't let that paint bleed. Um, after all those logos have been painted, um, we then can finally bring out the spray system that we used in the beginning and uh, start building layers upon layers of ice. Uh, it takes us three, two to three days roughly to uh, build enough water or ice on, onto the surface above the logos in order to bring out the Zamboni. Um, we try to get about a, a three eighths to a half an inch of ice over those li lines and logos so that we can then uh, bring the machine out and continue flooding that way.